is going on guys so i am going to be reviewing probably one of my favorite rams oh shit yeah, it's got a little pep to it man and uh this is something that you don't really see every single day i'm very pumped about it uh really really cool owner but uh you know what if you haven't had a chance to hit the subscribe button definitely do it drop a comment let me know what you think of this uh this this beast and let's get a cold start Tunnel. So I'm here with a Rumblebee and we're gonna take it for a test spin. Now the owner has been kind enough to let me burn down uh, Pilgrim State with this bad boy. I believe it has um, Flowmasters on there, no resonator, uh, an intake, and you know a couple other small performance goodies he's currently looking into the j green cam and i highly recommend anybody that's out there looking into it um a lot of nice visual upgrades viper rims on here um you know one of the coolest parts about this rumble b is that it's black uh most of the rumble bees that you see out there are yellow with the black decaling and so you know i kind of want to take you around um, this Rumblebee, it's, it's, it, to me, it's insanely rare. I never see Rumblebees out there. And when this first hit the streets, I immediately loved it. It's aggressive as hell looking. It sounds great. And uh, yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite Rams out there. That's the Rumblebee. Oh. stuff it sounds good though so so I just drove like a stock ram by the way that wasn't like a real acceleration I'm just easing into it I'm gonna uh, you think you could get it to before you're slipping Probably 17, 15, 17. All right. Oh shit! Yeah, it's got a little pep to it, man. Yeah. And believe would... it or not, the tires are like if I had my old 20s on this, it wouldn't, it wouldn't spin. It's. I mean, it would, it would only spin. These tires are ridiculous compared to my old ones. Yeah. Even the Iron Man. That was that was spinning like crazy. You know if you put a green cam in, you're 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 gonna shred these up like no other. This thing is ridiculous. <laughs> God. I'm gonna try and get it to two. Yeah. Do you have a tune on this? No. That was a 
almost 6,000 RPMs right there. You're shifting. Holy crap. No tune, unless, like I said, the previous owner, he was, uh, unfortunately, he passed away, but he was very into this truck. He had a, he actually had a Ford Tonka. You ever heard of those trucks, the limited edition ones? No. So he had this in a bright yellow Ford Tonka F250 or 350. What kind of, what, was it like, is it a performance-esque kind of truck uh, like this? You could say that. He, he liked rare stuff. He liked the yellow. He had a Jaguar too. Okay. But um, he did a lot of, when I bought this truck, everything in here was yellow. And it's not supposed to be stock. It's just supposed to be this and the, uh, the door panels and the seats. Everything was yellow in here. So I brought it back to stock. I did this black. That's a real numbered badge, by the way. This is a real numbered truck. But uh, how many of these did they make? It's iffy. It's a dealer accidentally put out that they only made 3,700 each year. 3,700. Okay. Mm -hmm. And some people say close to the 8,700 mark, but I know for a fact that this is one of 700 and change black 4x4s in 2004. Yeah, I, I, I like his Daytona. That thing is pretty, pretty badass. 